Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to give you what I believe are the top 7 tools that every cybersecurity professional needs to know how to use. Now, the reason why I have gone with 7 as opposed to the traditional top 10 or top 15 or top 20 is because I want to be as realistic as possible. I know that we are all very busy. You watching this video, you're a very, very busy person. You don't have plenty of free time to learn how to work with 10 different types of tools, which is why I have made the list as small as possible. So if you want to learn cybersecurity skills, these are, in my humble opinion, the top seven tools you need to focus on first. And once you've learned how to use the seven tools, you can then go on to learn how to work with other tools. Now, the degree to which you need to be proficient at working with these tools will depend largely on what field of cybersecurity you want to go to. Obviously, if you want to go to cybersecurity management as an, as an example, your technical skills don't have to be as proficient as someone who wants to be an ethical hacker or a pen tester or a network security engineer and so on. So how much you need to know about these tools will depend largely on what field of cybersecurity you want to specialize in. But with that out of the way, let's not waste any more time. Let me give you my top seven tools for every cybersecurity professional. Let's get started. All right, so number one shouldn't be a surprise at all. It is going to be the almighty Kali Linux. Now, as a cybersecurity professional, you need to be able to work with at least one version of the Linux operating system. And what better version than the Kali Linux that was built specifically for pen testing, ethical hacking, and for cybersecurity professionals in general. Now, if you were to go into the management fields of cybersecurity, you don't need to be as proficient on how to use Kali Linux as somebody who wants to go into pen testing or ethical hacking. But at the very least, you need to know how to install Kali Linux and work with Kali Linux. And when I say work with Kali Linux, I'm saying things like being able to create a folder, create a text document, install applications, run applications, uninstall applications, you know, kinds of basic things you will do on a Windows system or on a Mac, you should be able to do those basic kind of things on the Kali Linux operating system. And of course, if you're a pen tester, ethical hacker, bug bounty hunter, things like that, any technical field on the cybersecurity, Kali Linux, you need to be as good as possible. And of course, there are tons of tools, hacking tools on the Kali Linux that you need to be good at. We're going to talk about a few of them in this list, but starting off, Kali Linux, this is a tool that every cybersecurity professional needs to be able to know how to use. All right, number two here is going to be Wireshark. Now, when it comes to analyzing network traffic, there is no better tool on planet Earth than Wireshark. In my humble opinion, it is by far the best, and it's also completely free of charge, and it's also quite easy to learn how to use. With this tool, you can analyze traffic, you can figure out the IP addresses and MAC addresses, the kinds of services running on a network, the kinds of protocols in use, things like that. This is just a fantastic network analyzer. And so if you're going into network security or even to a certain extent, pen testing and ethical hacking, Wireshark is gonna be one of your best friends you need to know how to use Wireshark. And in fact, I'm currently working on a full tutorial on how to make use of this wonderful tool. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload that tutorial. But Wireshark is definitely a tool every cybersecurity professional needs to know how to use. Now, similar to Wireshark is going to be Nmap. Now, this is a wonderful tool typically used in the reconnaissance phase during the hacking methodology. This will, of course, be the phase where the hackers are trying to gather as much information as possible about the potential target. So being able to know how to use Nmap is a great skill because with Nmap, you can figure out things like which ports are open. You can figure out the IP addresses that are active on a network. You can even figure out the kinds of services running on that network as well. Nmap is completely free of charge and it is, in my humble opinion, one of the best tools that you can learn as a cybersecurity professional. And the best thing about Nmap, in my opinion, is that it's actually quite easy to learn. It's not complicated. And I believe that if you were to dedicate, say, about six hours to learning how to work with Nmap, you would be quite proficient at working with this tool definitely check out Nmap. All right, coming at number four, we do have Metasploit. And now we're talking about 
the heavy duty tools for pen testers and ethical hackers and of course bug bounty hunters as well. This is the world's most used penetration testing framework and basically what it does is that it allows you as a cybersecurity professional or even security teams to test out vulnerabilities, manage security assessments, and even improve security awareness as well. It's basically a framework developed to test out different kinds of attacks, bugs, vulnerabilities, and so much more. Now, the thing about Metasploit is that you do have the free open source version, but you also have the paid version as well. The paid version will come with commercial support and has a bit more features than the free version. However, the free version has plenty of features that you can work with. And if you're gonna go into pen testing or ethical hacking, or you wanna be a bug bounty hunter, things like that, Metasploit is an absolute must for you. You cannot do without this framework. I would highly encourage you to check out Metasploit today. Similar to Metasploit, we have Burp Suite from the company called Portswigger. And this is a fantastic tool that you can use for testing out applications and vulnerabilities as well. Now, the thing about Burp Suite is that you have different versions. If you were to go to products in here, you will see they've got the Enterprise Edition, but the two main editions, in my opinion, would be the Burp Suite Professional and the Burp Suite Community Edition. Now, the Community Edition is the one that's completely free of charge. You can download it and begin to work with it. The Professional Edition, of course, is the paid version. It's a lot more powerful than the Community Version, as you can imagine, and it's also quite expensive. It's about 450 US dollars, but you do get to try it for free, I think, for about a month or so. So I would recommend, if you're going to work with a Burp Suite, definitely check out the Community Edition first get used to the interface and see how it works. And then once you feel very comfortable with it, you can definitely give out the uh, professional edition a trial. This, in my humble opinion, is a fantastic tool for learning how to test for vulnerabilities and applications and software. Also, if you were to go to the homepage, by the way, uh, down here, you are going to see that they actually have a community for learning uh, it's right here on the insights. You have the Web Security Academy. So if you were to click on the link in there, you can sign up and you'll get some free online web security training from the creators of Bob Suite. And I've tried them out before and it's actually quite good. So if you want to learn a bit more about testing web applications, software, looking for vulnerabilities, trying out different kinds of attacks like SQL injection, cross site scripting, and things like that definitely check out the Bob Suite from Potswigger. All right, so coming at number six, we definitely have to talk about a tool for passwords. And of course, in cybersecurity, passwords are one of the most commonly used tools for protecting data, for protecting networks, and keeping our data safe from hackers. And of course, as a cybersecurity professional, you need to learn how to be able to crack some passwords every now and then. And when it comes to a tool for cracking passwords, Hashcat, is without question the best in my humble opinion. It's also the fastest and it's also the most powerful as well. And the wonderful thing about Hashcat is, is of course is that it's completely free of charge. You don't have to pay for Hashcat and it works on all open systems, whether it's Linux, Mac, Windows, it's got you covered. And I'm actually going to upload a full tutorial on how to install and work with Hashcat on the Windows platform. When you're watching this video, I either would have already uploaded it or I will be in the process of uploading it. So be on the lookout for how to work with Hashcat. But if you want to take any tool to learn how to crack passwords, Hashcat, in my humble opinion, is going to be your best choice. And writing up this list is going to be a tool for OSINT, Open Source Intelligence, and that's going to be the OSINT framework itself. Now, if you're not familiar with what OSINT is, it stands for Open Source Intelligence, and it's basically a skill that can allow you to gather as much information as possible about individuals, companies, businesses, and it is an extremely powerful skill, not just for regular cybersecurity professionals, but for anyone, in fact. You would be quite terrified as to how much information you can gather about somebody using OSINT. It is extremely powerful and there's a ton of tools out there for OSINT, but I decided to settle with the OSINT framework, the granddaddy of all those tools themselves. But the reason why I had some hesitation selecting OSINT framework in particular is because this is the user interface as you can see and it looks very, very, very clean and simple. But trust me, 
it can actually get quite muddy and difficult to navigate your way around, especially if you're somebody who isn't used to OSINT. Regardless, the OSINT framework is extremely powerful. It pulls in information from different types of databases and web sources, and it's also completely free of charge as well. You do have other tools like Multigo and Shodan that have better user interfaces, but typically you will have to pay for them. They are not free of charge. So I would highly recommend that as a cybersecurity professional, you know how to use one tool for open source intelligence and what better tool than the OSINT framework. So there it is guys, my top seven tools that you as a cybersecurity professional needs to know how to use. And like I said, in the introduction of this video, the degree to which you need to learn how to use these tools will depend very largely on your role in the cybersecurity industry. But at the very least, you need to know something about all these tools. You need to walk, you need to be able to work with at least the basic functionalities of each one of these applications. I'd love to hear from you. Are there other tools that you'd recommend for other cybersecurity professionals to learn how to work with? Do you disagree with me about this being a top seven? Do you feel there are other tools that I should have talked about instead of the ones that made this list? I'd love to hear from you. Put down your comments and questions in the comment section below. And of course, I will answer them as quickly as possible. If you're new here to the channel, welcome. This is Lab Cyber. My name is Alex. I make videos around the world of cybersecurity and AI in general. So if you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so they're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. And of course, please do give the video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for your support. Stay safe all day and I'll talk to you next time.